All right, how's it going, folks? Things could be better where I'm at. As you now know, Pitt lost to West Virginia, 19-16, on a last-second field goal by Tyler Bittencourt for the Mountain East. And my take on the game is that it was simply... My take on the game, simply that it was a very close game, a tight game, but the brakes fell West Virginia's way. Just happens. Bit of a surprisingly defensive struggle. I think if we're going to look at any, extrapolate any statistic, the one we have to look at is turnovers. Pitt, of course, stole through two interceptions. Um, West Virginia, in a remarkable change from how they normally play, did not turn the ball over at all. Um, as I said, very defensive struggle, kind of surprisingly. As I thought, honestly, both teams would be able to put up a little more fire, offensive fireworks. Both teams had one big play, the, Devon, the, the Noel Devine 90-yard run, and then the bomb from Pitt. Stole to Baldwin. And then just... They had four field goals. We had three field goals. I think we we missed... We, Pitt missed two field goals, too. One was a 53-yard. They probably shouldn't have taken. I think they should have taken a five-yard delay of gay penalty, game of penalty and punted. And I, I don't know how... How the first how long the first one was. I wasn't in the stadium quite at that point. Because with WVU, you park a mile away from the stadium, and you walk to the same. It's really funny, actually. The stadium is on the same level as the parking lot we park in. The problem is there's a huge valley in between. So you got to go down, then you got to go up. Then you got to go back down a little bit, then up, then down, and then you're in the stadium. Morgantown is very hilly. As I said, the offense didn't play well as a whole. I mean, Stoll didn't play a particularly good game. But then again, his offensive line really did him no favors. The running game started showing some signs of life at the end, but again, it goes back to the offensive line. It's hard to run, have a run, good running attack when there's always a um, WVU defensive lineman in the backfield. Um... Our defense played pretty well. They just didn't make the plays they needed to make. And theirs did. And that was really the difference in the game. I'm a little bummed because this means if we don't win next week against Saturday, our bowl invite becomes a foggy, foggy mess. Odds are we won't go to the Gator Bowl. Because Pitches doesn't travel well. They'll take West Virginia over us. Might not even go to the Charlotte Bowl if... Because they're said to be interested in more in to Rutgers or South Florida. Especially if South Florida beats Miami tomorrow. Or later today, since it is Monday. So, I think it's a very simple proposition for Pitt. Gotta beat Cincinnati next week. It's that simple. It ain't gonna be easy. All right. I also have heard a lot of people say this game tonight, last night, meant nothing because the game for all the marbles is next week. I completely disagree with that. It's going to be annoying being a net citizen for the next year, listening to WVU fans brag. Actually, I thought the WVU fans tonight down there were actually pretty well behaved. Definitely not as bad as the trip in 2003. But I know one guy tried to needle us pretty hard on the way out, but it's boring. Brought up the Sun Bowl. They do that a lot. Sun Bowl? Really? Yeah. Oh, well. We bummed. I'm sad we lost. 
Big chance to redeem ourselves next week. I actually have a really good feeling right now about next week. I think we're going to come out and play really well. All right. Bye-bye. See you later.